I'm here with Joe Rotella, and he's got a great idea for amazing lanterns to just light up a room. These are fabulous, Joe. I love Thank them. You. Aren't they so cool? Look how bright, and when the lights are on, they're spectacular. Super cool, and you say that it's super easy to do. They are, I'm gonna show you how. Okay. We start out with a photo, and in this case we chose flowers, just because they have a real nice shape that works well in our Kaleidoscope software. We went ahead and scanned that in, and now let's bring up the software, and I'll show you how easy it is to make a Kaleidoscope out of this. So you just scanned it into your computer, and then you're gonna bring it into the software, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Now, the first thing we wanna do is choose a pentagon shape, and there's lots of shapes that you can choose from, and I know way down here is the Pentagon. So we're gonna pick that, and then we'll pull in the scan of our flower. Now the goal here is to rotate this and get it in a place where we're gonna have a beautiful kaleidoscope, and you can see it up in that preview window up there. Yeah, I love that because so, I wouldn't be able to imagine what it could look like, but I can definitely see it in the preview. Yeah, and if you just wanna, you can move it around, and as you move it around, the preview window is gonna update, so it's very, very easy for you to kind of get an idea of exactly what this thing is gonna be like. Now look, that's beautiful just as is. It is and gorgeous. <laughs> what we did next was print that out. And we're gonna use this to inspire a line drawing. I can't draw at all. So this is, re I can't, it's terrible. Everyone can draw, Joe. Oh, I don't know. You should see. So now what we're gonna do is take a permanent marker, and that's mm -hmm. very important, because this acetate. Because I was gonna say, you put a sheet of clear acetate on top of this so that you can see through it and you can draw very easily. And it's slick. Right. So that's why this permanent marker is important. Now first we need to create some registration marks, and I'm gonna do that at the center. For people who don't know what a registration mark is, can you explain what that is? It allows us to take multiple layers of drawings and align them using these little dots. Okay, so you put one at the center. Where else do you put a registration mark? I'm gonna mark? do one at the top of the pentagon. Okay. And then up, when you make a kaleidoscope, even though this has five sides, it's actually made up of 10 wedges. Which we saw when we picked the piece that was a exactly. triangle shape. And so I'm gonna mark right here in the halves of one of the sides. Okay, but you're not measuring no, that. No, 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 this should be fun. We okay. don't wanna have a ruler. Now, to start your doodle, Remember, we're just using this flower as a guide. So I'm gonna just start to play with this. So you're saying the flower's not the boss of you. It's exactly. You get yeah, to yeah. decide exactly what you want it to look like. And you don't trace the whole thing because remember, we only have to fill in this one wedge. Oh, so, so that's why you created the registration marks to sort of know also where your doodles are coming. Exactly, exactly. I like that, you only have to do the work once. And see, I'm not gonna go perfect. If you try to go perfect, you're gonna go crazy. So you just want it to be rough. It's and I've got one. Line. I've got one already done. See? Well, I like that. How cool is that? So I can see, there you go. And Looks there's good. the registration marks. Mm -hmm. It's a little tough to see. If we put a clear piece under it, you can tell for Looks sure. It's kind of like an artichoke to me. <laughs> Now these are going to be the draw lines when we actually put this in the cutting machine. Okay. We need to draw the cut lines on top of it and we're just going to make little cutouts wherever we want. So what you mean if we look at the finished piece is that actually the flower design was drawn onto that blue square or thing. I don't know what to call it. A hedron, a lamp, and uh, then the cut lines are separate places so the light can actually exactly. come through. Okay, so that's what you're and doing now. And again, I see you're not being precise, you're just playing around. And you can see the registration marks are going to allow me to line this up again perfectly. Ah, that's why we need registration marks, because they register. So we're going to scan this and then go back over. So when you say scan this, you're scanning in both the cut lines and the drawing lines that you've just done back into the Kaleidoscope software. Correct, correct. And then what are we doing from there? Well, again, we need to turn these into a Kaleidoscope. And so I'm just doing the same process as I did before. I'm kind of just playing with the shape, looking at it in the preview window to decide, hey, what, what's going to really make a pretty kaleidoscope? And so, so once do you I, have to choose that um, same shape again, the pentagon shape? You do, and what I'm trying to do is take the registration marks that you see up in these corners uh -huh. and line them up with the marks that are in oh, the software. Oh, I see. So that's another reason that the registration works are important, and I can see now how you're able to do that. Exactly. And when I'm all done with that, I'm gonna print them out. So you'll do this separately. One for, as you can see here, this is gonna be our drawing lines. Correct. And then one here for the cutting lines. Absolutely. Right? And now I'm gonna let you draw Okay, so cut this it. is where I get to take over. So what I've done is I've taken these two designs and I've used my scan mat to go ahead and scan this into my electronic cutter and I've combined them into a single file. And if you're looking for those instructions, you can find them on our website. Now, now that it's in the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to retrieve it 
right from my USB and you can see it right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and load in my cutting mat just like so. And now I'm going to replace my blade with actually the pen tool so we can do that drawing that we talked about. And you'll notice if you look at the screen that the design is quite simplified from what you see on the uh, what we were working on. But that is part of the awesomeness. So now I'm just gonna pop this in and I'm just gonna put the cap here so I don't lose it. Push that down. And then I'm going to ask the machine to draw my design for me. Now you could use any color marker that you wanted, right? Because if you wanted to have it be red lines or green lines or blue lines. The sides don't even have to match. Exactly, actually that would be really cool, especially for a kid's room, something yeah. that's a little jumbled, different. I like that idea a lot. And it's pretty fast actually if you think about it, because I could not draw this fast and it's going to be well, precise too. And we need 11 of them exactly the exactly. same. Exactly. So I have it drawn and so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simply pop out my pen and I'm going to put in my blade which I've already set to the correct setting, put it in, hit cut and now the machine is going to cut the spaces that I need. Now we're pretty used to when an electronic cutter cuts, it sounds pretty normal. But what's going to happen with this file that I think is exciting is there's a built-in perforation line, right? And what's going to happen is you're going to go ahead and there it is, chugga chugga chug, so you know it's perforating. So while this is cutting and perforating, I know you have some that are already done, and you're gonna take us to the next step. So there's our pentagon already done, drawn with everything cut out, and there's the little perforated lines. Yes. We're gonna use those as And a perforation makes lines. things easy to fold, so they fold nice and straight every Absolutely. time. Absolutely. And so we're gonna fold this all the way around, right along the line, so that you don't need a special tool or anything. And we need to do this with all of them, and we're gonna adhere them together like this. Now you wanna use a really, really strong adhesive so we'll just cut a little piece of it and attach it on here just like this you'd peel that off and attach when you're all done you'll have this big flower ta-da <laughs> and notice there's six sides here this is actually the top and all I'm gonna do is peel this apart and sometimes these it's a little tough to peel this stuff you have a good tip for that right I do I like to use a pin and then I can just take the pin and sort of pick off that top layer and it'll peel off. And while you're peeling that off, look, my piece is already cut out, and so you would do 11 of these that of course 11. are drawn, cut, and scored. And when you pull all these together, you'll end up with this. A party bowl! Now, this is actually the top of the lantern because okay. it has a filled in part. We're gonna flip it over, work from the bottom, and you're gonna take the same shapes that we've been working with, fold one edge down, because as you attach these all the way around, this folded edge down is the opening where you insert your light. Perfect, so that's an empty place so that you can put that light right in. Joe, it. this is amazing and I want these for my home. I think they're so fabulous.